Hello, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. Now, this will be for the second half of October 2022. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to the channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Don't forget, it's a general reading and it's not going to suit everyone that's out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also, time can be fluid, energy can be vice versa, so keep that in mind. Alright, so I have pre-shuffled all the cards. Let's get started. Pisces. Second half of October 2022. Pisces. Your healing. Oops. Which is good. Working on your healing. Now, <clears throat> you went through, as I said, some sort of lost love that you didn't really want to release, but you needed to. Um, but you still need to work on that healing. And that's why it's here. Because double whammy, you need to do some healing. And <laughs> just in case you didn't get the hint, ocean of eternal love, healing. So... Looks like you need to do some healing, Pisces. <laughs> Three times in case you didn't get it. Um, you've definitely, yeah, you've definitely gone through some some stuff. And I feel like, you know, the healing could involve why did you tolerate it for as long as you did or why did you tolerate it at all? You've got moon goddess and reach out. So maybe there's something to do with the moon that helps calm you or maybe you, you're affected by the moon, the way, you know, the different moon cycles and all that sort of stuff. Um, I feel like... If you need to reach out to somebody to get some healing, I feel like do that. This person could be a fire sign. Tell me more. One more card. Could also be an earth sign. You definitely need to get back to nature. Heal your heart, um, even your crown chakra. It could be, oh my God, could be another water sign or that could be you. But you've got a few different ones coming up. But maybe you need to go and spend some time in nature. Because there's water, there's nature, there's, you know, the earth and then there's the moon. In all of the pictures, there's the moon or an earth or some picture of some description. Oh. I don't know if there's Libra involved. This person betrayed you or was a toxic situation or relationship. In Libra, the Black Widow was the person, not that they're involved with, it was... I like guess third party, um, somebody that was intentionally causing issues because they're cunning. Um, and it's their way to control the situation. So, oh, they liked your money. Yep. They liked your money. Tell me more about this black widow. It's like multiple choices.
I mean, this could be a toxic relationship that you had, you came to a forked road and you're like, which direction? Do I go back to this back black widow or do I go to, you know, my own house? You know what I mean? Like, not where the black widow is. Um, you have options, you had free will. It was like the moment of truth um, and it was a turning point in your life and I feel like you made the decision to... Some of you go there, some of you not. Yeah, it could be a water sign and that's probably you. Here you are rising like the phoenix. So for those of you that chose to walk away, All right, tell me more. The Pisces. So it was like, you need to heal. You need to grow from the stuff that you've been through and you are gonna get some new love coming. Tell me more. Ooh may lead to an engagement ring. Okay, maybe, okay, maybe this was the person that you went through this with. You know, you need to grow from this. So you could have been, like you got together, everything looked okay, you opened your heart, you know, maybe you're living together, you're engaged, married, high level of commitment, whatever that is for you. But you ended up having this heartbreak where because this person was wearing a mask. I don't think you're really aware of the dating patterns that you have. So when the relationship is over, you keep going back and going back and going back and going back. Don't give somebody second chances or 10 chances or three chances. Yeah, you've gone later, dude. Focusing on you now. You're rewriting the story. You need to switch up your type so you don't keep getting the same kind of people. So you've got Ace of Thought, Nine of Abundance in Reverse, Two of Abundance, Ten of Action, Ten of Thought, Three of Emotion, and on the bottom, Two of Thought, Seven of Wands, Six of Cups in Reverse, The Justice. in reverse, ten of wands in reverse, the world, and on the bottom, the king of pentacles. Okay, last lot. Pisces. Nine of cups.
Hermit. Ace of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, Ten of Swords in reverse and the world in reverse. All right. Ace of Thought. So this is the same as the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords is about having a fresh start. It's about truth, justice, um, some sort of breakthrough and I feel like that definitely happened I feel like you know when you came to this fourth road you definitely made the right decision um, even if there were little challenges along the way you weren't you know I guess that last time when you kept going back and going back and going back this was it like nothing was going to dissuade you from from leaving this time um, you know, you, you, you kept going back because you thought it was worth fighting for, but at some point you had to make a stand, you know, it was like, I'm not backing down. I'm leaving. I deserve better. Blah, blah, blah. You know, you want your wishes fulfilled. That's, that's what you wanted. Um, and I think part of the breakthrough was you realizing that you weren't going to get some clarity that you're not going to get that in this situation and no one's getting any younger nine of abundance which is exactly this uh it's actually nine of pentacles but it's like um nine and nine um nines are about accomplishment and a climax and that definitely happened so you know, you need to focus on your self-worth because I feel like you were being hustled by somebody who wasn't, you know, maybe didn't have those financial material comforts. But like, I'm sure there's still some nostalgia. I'm sure that with the Six of Cups, you know, you were disappointed, um, but you just need to forgive just for yourself you don't have to actually physically forgive them but you just need to kind of forgive whatever happens so you can just move on and you've been spending some time kind of you know figuring out what it is you want with the hermit um getting some clarity about a few things um yeah Two of Abundance, which is a Two of Pentacles. This is about two choices. Um, you know, maybe you just at the moment want to keep things light, you know, um, playful. You, I don't feel like you just want to go jump into something right now. Focusing on your finances. Um... But justice, you've got justice, which is, yeah, you just learning a whole heap of life lessons. Maybe you got some truth, you realise some truth. Um, maybe some of you are going through a lawsuit where the truth will come out. But you've got the Ace of Pentacles, which is like financial reward, it's happiness, it's a new fresh start, it's 
you know, abundance, a new job, new money, you know, it could be blossoming new love, it could be anything. Um, now, with the Ten of Action, this is the Ten of Wands. And, you know, you felt like the past was just a burden. You know, you were straining to make this other person happy, which is also harmful to your own health. But, yeah, I just feel like it was just exhausting. So you had to end up, I mean, tens are about completion and I feel like you, yeah, you chose to walk away with the ten of cups in reverse, broken relationship, there was arguments, it was an inauthentic relationship for some of you. There was imbalances, discord, false sense of security, not a good situation. So Ace of Wands, you have new opportunities, you're growing, you're setting goals, focusing on, you know, your career. There could have been a third party involved as well because you've got Ten of Swords, some complete and painful ending, but it involved three of emotion, which is a third party. Could have involved gossip, could have involved somebody else getting involved in, in this relationship. And as I said, you've got Ten of Wands, like you've already had Ten of Wands, I'm sure. Um, and it's, yeah, you need to readjust, release. Like, it's, an, it's a relief that this situation is over. The world, definitely completion, end of whatever lesson you needed to learn. Um, you got Ten of Swords again, which is just the first card I just read up here a minute ago. Ten of Swords in reverse. You're recovering. You're recovering, you know, from a situation where somebody could have been a player or um, they could have been, like, wanting money. Um, you got the two of swords the king of coins and the world in reverse so right now you might feel like you still haven't got closure um, about a situation but really you need to have some self-respect self-confidence just be happy being by yourself right now uh, figuring out who you are you've got the king of coin which is exactly what's here this is about you being hard working secure dependable stable some sort of you know ultimate provider for yourself right now you've got the ace of swords again truth epiphanies you've got some insight that, you know, you were this person's ultimate provider. Um, and the two of swords. I just feel like you tried for a long time to kind of avoid making a decision, but it looks like if you haven't already, you will. And for some of you, this could be in the past and this could be you know what you've been through anyway i hope that resonates it's my bedtime so i need to go but if you've um yeah if this resonates please don't forget to share like and subscribe and um i will catch you i guess with the next read thanks so much for watching okay bye